Hey, it's Ryan from UpfitSupply.com, and in this video, we're going to be installing a WeatherGuard composite partition in our GMC Savannah. Let's get started. Now included in the box is a fully illustrated installation guide from WeatherGuard. They're the manufacturer. We are not. We are doing the, our best to follow this, but just make sure you look at this for the ultimate source of information. We're gonna do a little bit of vehicle prep here. Uh, first is I'm gonna mark uh, kind of up here in our cross member, we need to mark where we're going to attach our header panels. We actually have a uh, ceiling liner in place right here that may need to trim so that we can get access to that cross member up here. So now that we have access to this cross member right here in the ceiling, we're gonna mark some holes that we want to expand. So we have these two in the center right here, one and two, leave those alone. And we're gonna do the next two outer right there, right there, we're gonna expand. Same thing on the right side. Now you're gonna to wanna to use a 3 8 inch drill bit or a 25 64. 3 8 is a little bit smaller, but you can knock some of these rib nuts in there uh, with a 3 8 as well. Using a drill stop on here, which is a recommended tool. We go ahead and take one of our rib nets and just test fit. This is just a really tight fit up there. I can't get my normal rib nut tool up there, but this is a little uh, rivet nut setting angle bracket that you can use to slide this in place and then I can just use a impact to tighten it up. All right, so you can see up here, we've got all four, one, two, three, four rivet nuts in there. That's all we need to do on this top cross member. Next, we're gonna install our header brackets to this cross member up here. Now there's two sides of this. One has kind of a welded on nut plate on one side, the other one's open. Open side is gonna go, we're gonna go through with bolt and a washer like this into those rivet nut locations. Um, and these are gonna be used for attaching the partition. It's kind of a tight fit up there, but they do leave a cutout in this bracket here for you to use an extension and get up there. Now we're gonna use a T50 Torx bit to remove our D-rings. Now some prep on the partition before we bring it in the van is there are these little dimples on the outside flange. Uh, looks like it's just on the top. We've got one, two, three, four right there. And we've got uh, a few down here on the bottom. We're just going to use a 5 16 inch drill bit and drill those out because those are the holes that we're gonna use for attaching this to the brackets. <laughs> Next, we're going to attach this floor bracket to the partition with carriage bolts, washers, and a lock nuts. So you're gonna leave all these carriage bolts loose enough so that it can, the bracket can slide up and down like that. And uh, now we're gonna bring it into the van. loosely attach the top bracket. Now we're pushing this all the way up to this B pillar right here. I'm just going to use a marker, try and mark on this where everything lines up. Just marking on the trim where these holes need to be made. Now there is a metal bracket that kind of goes along. You can see these bolts here that attach it to the composite material. Then it comes all the way out here, lines up for your B pillars. You want to make sure that that bracket, sometimes you get bent in a little bit. You just want to make sure that your holes align uh, right there so that when we do attach through here, that we're going through the bracket and the composite material. Now we're kind of going to reverse what we just did, take it back out of the van so we can prep our holes. So over here on this side of the B pillar, there's the trim. We have some wiring. We have some wiring right here for we have a lights up here. It's kind of in that area. There's also a factory wiring harness right here as well. You just want to be careful of that when you're doing your holes. That's why you don't want to drill blindly through those holes. You're going to remove this and cut away a portion of this trim. 
you get a hole and we're gonna try and sneak past this, past this wiring harness without having to relocate it or anything like that. Same thing happening over on this side. I'm just prying this away a little bit to see what's behind here. And there is a wire back there. So we're gonna be careful of that when we're making our hole. I'm gonna first just cut this trim away, try and stay away from any wires. So the, there's a wire back here, so I'm just using this to kind of pull that away while I'm doing my drilling so I don't actually burn a hole in it or something like that. Next, we're gonna take these half inch spacers like here, and we're going to tape them in place against the trim. Otherwise, it's gonna be really hard to hold one up. I'm just gonna poke a hole here for my bolt to fit through. Depending on the tape you use, easier said than done. Using a punch here to index it up against that hole. Okay, next we're gonna loosely install our lower brackets. We need a spacer. So we go down here then our bracket and our large bolt. I'm just getting this threaded. I'm gonna rotate it out of the way for now. Same thing, I'm just sliding this out of the way because we have a tight fit here because we do have a solid rigid floor. It's about half an inch thick. Also the ceiling liner, so just getting this bulkhead in here is kind of challenging. Um, so I'm gonna leave these loose, slide everything. Then we have to do some carriage bolts between that footer block, that floor bracket on the partition and this. I'm gonna bring in the partition now. I'm gonna very loosely just get two of these hatched to the header brackets. So now this is pretty hard to get on camera, but this is our bracket attached to our D-ring bolt right here. See three holes right here? Uh, within this floor bracket attached to the partition, got three holes back here that we're gonna put carriage bolts in. we gonna be sticking up. This is gonna be rotated out like this. And the carriage bolts are gonna go under like that, and then we're gonna bolt it to this bracket. That's why I wanted to leave this really loose. Might even have to take it out to get this in place. Now, before we move this driver's side part up to the B pillar there, we actually have these rubber gaskets that we can put above and below this middle point right here. So, sorry if I'm in the way, but this is our midpoint right here. We got a bracket coming through here. We do a strip in between the B pillar and the partition here. Just a self adhesive backing here. Now up here in the cab area, you can see this is that bracket we attached to our D-ring bolt right here. We have carriage bolts coming up from this floor bracket into this bracket right here, washers, lock nuts. Same exact deal over here on the driver's side. That attaches right there. Okay, now with everything attached, we have our header brackets attached up here. We have our B pillar. Uh, bolts in right here and we have our bolts to our floor brackets going into those D-ring locations right there. We're going to go through all of the bolts that we left loose and tighten them to the specifications shown in the installation manual and then that will pretty much do it for this installation. Now if you're looking for this partition or any other equipment to get your van ready for work, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.